What is this? Is this salmon? Live from Gloucester, Massachusetts. Podcasting around the world. Around the world. You're listening to the Gloucester Cast Podcast, a production of Joey Shimataro and Good Morning Gloucester Media. Kick back, relax, and enjoy the show with your host, Joey Shimataro. Get it away from me. We're live. It used to be a okay. Call. All right, we're live. Welcome. With Joe's new camera. Can we scoop? No. Nope. Nope. Yeah, actually, it is a new camera. I, I got Velcro. Oh, he's stuck. I got the <laughs> Chris has already pounded up. Look at you. you <laughs> what? What? I didn't eat anything. What is it? Oh, All right. Is. Holiday feedback. We are, lo- we are very lucky right now uh, to be joined. TJ Packham's here. From uh, and and Zoe, are you part of the business or are you just the, the marketing person? She's our social media social whiz, girl, yeah. social media guru. Yeah, uh, for it's called Twin, Twin Lights Light Smokehouse. Smokehouse. Yep, and we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna get into all of that in a little bit. He brought some unbelievable food. Chris McCarthy's with us. Hey, good morning, Lost. A happy birthday, Joe. It's, it's your birthday? birthday? Oh, yeah. Way to drop the salmon. I know. Thank you so I get much. Stick a candle in the salmon. I know. Okay, awesome. Scotty Mack is with us. Good morning, Lobster. Did I introduce you, Zoe? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Dalpia is with us. Good nice morning, Lobster. What's the, what's the date of vacation? What's the number? 49. 49. No, I'm in the okay. 40s. No, that's too high. You're in the 30s now. Oh, 39. I'm in 39. the 30s. Oh, 39. 39. 39. Okay, this is even better. I can't wait. You Nicole Schaff is with us. Good morning. <laughs> thank, thank you for Off submitting your, uh, your topics ahead of time. It's always very helpful for me. You're welcome. I try. I try really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Capello is with us. Jimmy. He's on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> on the- <laughs> <laughs> and Pat is on the, the keyboard. keyboard. Thank you, Pat. Yes. Sounds like, a, sounds like a band. Let's, let's. Right. Scotty Max back there. Oh, we've been guys. Right. 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 My sister Felicia is going to join us. She's late as normal. Like she's later than my mother was. Yeah, yeah. Right? you're right. So we have some we have some gifts, um, and so for the for the regulars that know what we what we've been doing, Jimmy, can you turn that on? Oh, you, you got that right. Yeah. Uh, for, for the people that are regulars, we are doing the thing about three quarters of the way through the podcast. We uh, Anyone that shares the podcast on Facebook gets entered to win. We have a bunch of prizes today. Um, and so uh, the way it will work is we have Sister Felicia is donating one of her cookbooks. Her cookbooks, I don't know how much she charges, like 40 bucks, I think, maybe. Um, 45 if it's signed. 45 signed. <laughs> She's giving away one of her cookbooks. If you share the podcast and type shared on Facebook so that we can see that you shared it, you get entered. And then at the end, we, have, we use the random number generator on the phone and we pick the numbers. So there's that. We have Pauline's Gift gave us uh, a Gloucester Fisherman Gator. Also some of her world famous dipshit. From Big Big Cock Ranch. Always a fan favorite. <laughs> this stuff is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen all this. I've seen their stuff. Uh, and we have two books uh, from Francis Francis J. Sullivan along triage. So a lot of gifts today. I'm gonna let Felicia say she's got a special something else, but I'm waiting for her to come so that we can. Uh, and she'll tell us the, like the super special uh, thing that she has. So try to focus right there when we talk. Okay, uh, yeah. We got that. Look at Hi, me. Mom. <laughs> but but the, the, the star of the show, as far as I'm concerned, right here are these products from Twin Lights Smokehouse. Can you hold this? Uh, Jimmy, why don't you do it? Because you can get it straight cat. Get it right up there. What is it? I haven't even tried it. No, what is this? <laughs> Too close. Back up a little right there. waiting so patiently. Perfect. So what, what do we have here? Well, so with our Twin Light Smoke products, uh, we've got a bunch of different things I brought today for you guys. I brought Banner. smoke muscles. Um, many people will 
an experienced Sasquatch, Paul's smoke muscles. He was the guy who trained us and me and Mel had taken over and we started up Twin Light Smokehouse based off of the knowledge he taught us. And then we've taken some other products out there and started developing some new stuff. So smoke muscles, kind of a rare thing. Not a lot of people have had them before. Oh my God. And they are, they're delicious. Like some people are like, I don't like muscles. You get that a lot at seafood restaurants. People who are just like, I don't like muscles. I don't do that. But we encourage people to try these because right. they're smoked, drastically different. So we cold smoke these rather than a hot smoke that we do with the salmon. And then after that, we put it in this oil with a bunch of specialty spices. Oh, I have to kill you if we tell you what it is. <laughs> but they're, they're magical. They're and magic. the cool thing about it is you, you can just pop these in your mouth. You can put them on crackers. You can wow. do a lot with them. But the oil inside that has all that flavor, you can also cook with. So if you bring home this 8-ounce container, God. you put it over pasta, you use that oil to cook whatever vegetables you're going to be That's doing or good. whatever fish you're going to be cooking with it, too. So it's it's got a lot of a lot of play on it, and uh, that's one of our best sellers, and it's been around for a while. Sasquatch introduced a lot of people to that, Paul. So you can even eat them with coffee. Yes, they're great for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> so you're, you're Gloucester based. Yep. And um, and you took over. So Paul Cohen was uh, known as Sasquatch. He yep. played in a lot of the uh, local bands. Absolutely. Uh, well, sent one man show in the, uh, at the Rum Line at the Brew Pub. Yeah. And Felicia uh, is here. Felicia is here. Wow. All right. Sister. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sister, <laughs> sister building. And that's why for you right there. Um, but but he, you guys, so you took over his space. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like when I, we first came in and we're talking, I guess the, the quick rundown of it is it's hard not to talk about Twin Lakes Smokehouse unless we talk about Cape Ann Fresh Catch, too. So, um Melissa had met Sasquatch through farmer's markets and stuff like that. I had met Paul Sasquatch uh, when we worked at Cape Ann Brewery and other spots. He was always serving his food. We actually served his food. We had a fish, smoked fish, cheese plate and right. stuff. And that's how I got to know Paul when you're not seeing him playing guitar and stuff. So through Cape Ann Fresh Catch, that company, like I was describing, we have a platform, an online platform. It was created about 12 years ago by the Fishman's Wives. And then slowly, um, Melissa and her family had taken it over. And it's a great, you know, it's a great company because the concept is kind of like a farm share. Instead, we do a fish share where through Eastern Mass, as far down as Canton, Sharon, no Cape in the Islands, but as far west as Harvard, Acton, we deliver fresh seafood once a week, door to door, drop spots at like gourmet groceries, farmer stands. And the idea is people will come, pick up their bag with their name on it seafood they ordered that was swimming probably like 10 hours ago oh. super fresh <laughs> and then they go in the store or the brewery we team up with breweries and they buy some other stuff there so it locally helps out not just the fishermen get some seafood out there which they need right now with all the restaurants everything closed it also helps these other small businesses get what they need and with covid going on it is a silver lining for us it also helps people stay safe you know, we deliver door to door to so many different types of people throughout the whole state, you know, whether it's whole fish, whether it's salmon, whether it's haddock. So each the idea is each week and each day we only distribute what's sustainable and fresh that day. <clears throat> so each day Zoe gets a text from me when we're packing up the fish and I'll be like, all right, Zoe, it is hake today and it's from Captain Joe. And so we have a bunch of boats we work with. So every person who's getting their fish gets an email, and they also know where it came from and exactly what boat. Wow. You know, and down the line, we want to get some pictures with all the captains and crew and stuff, too, because we want that up there. So each day, they get their fish, they right. put a face with the fish. So it's a super positive thing. And Fish face. Yeah, fish <laughs> face is big. <laughs> that's a good idea. We should make everybody a fish face. But so from there, that's when... Uh, it was just the natural kind of progression. Twin Light Smokehouse, Sasquatch offered, you know, business up, and it just fits with this platform. They complement each other quite well. So that's, that's awesome. when we started out, and we're like, well, we're not Sasquatch. That's him. Yeah. That belongs to him, so we needed a good name. And me and Mel are both locals, Pigeon Covers, and Twin Light Smokehouse just so made someone, perfect sense to us. If someone's interested in signing up for that uh, yep. program, I would... You can go to capenfreshcatch.org, and it's all online form. You can sign up for a different amount of weeks, you know, throughout the season, and it's all explained right there for you. But you could do a one-pounder, two-pound share. 
what that means is once a week, whatever your delivery day is, you're going to get a one or a two pound share of whatever that fish is. If uh, you want it kosher, you can write kosher so you never get any of the ground fish. You know, so it'll always be kosher what you get. But we also have a la carte on there. So people, not only are all of our smoke products now available on that online platform, which is great. You can do a la carte. You can get salmon. You can do scallops every day. You can do crab meat. You got Jonah crab meat. You can do, and we have weekly specials. So we just did swordfish week. I mean, we've done live lobsters. We've done, I mean, delivering live lobsters door to door. Wow. People leave your coolers out. You're supposed to leave yeah, coolers out in front of your house. Just like the milk. And there's nothing like a guy who orders like, you know, six like six lobsters and there's a cooler this big in front of their house. <laughs> and you're like, or they get whole fish and there's a cooler this big out in front of their house. So we actually do provide coolers if you want coolers too. We do that. So uh, We have a couple of questions from our listeners. Somebody's asking about the oil. Well, the oil. Well, so great question. And um, canola oil is what we use. And a lot of people be like, oh, canola oil? Reason being, Paul, the smoke master, he's tried every oil known to man, and we trust them. I and mean, we've listed them, coconut oil, all these other, because they just sound so much more healthier. But the problem with those oils, they just throw so much off flavors into the mm-hmm. muscles. It's no oh. bueno, where canola adds no, like neutral. zero flavor. It's a, it's a and it really... And the key to the oil is that's what preserves them. Those muscles, when you buy them, will last two months. Huge shelf life. And being in that oil, so we just put it right over the top of them. And then the oil, like I said, has a ton of flavor to it, too. So. And the other question I need to address this. I'm sorry, Joe. Um, can you send any fish to North Carolina? Well, it's funny you mention it because we just launched Twin Light Smokehouse. Um, we just launched our website about a week ago. Oh. And if you go on our website, you can see you can place orders, but not quite yet. Like, um, we're still waiting for some stuff to come through on that. One being, like, we're waiting for our coolers and our ice packs. Like, we're doing a lot of research because we're kind of, like, the only show in town that's doing it this big besides a couple. There's one big guy in Boston who does it, but, you know, we're we're an artisan smokehouse. It's very, not to say they're not, we're just smaller scale. So uh, we can focus more on our flavors and batches, so the smaller batch. But we look at what they're doing in the Northwest, where there's tons of salmon, lots of smokehouses, and everybody offers online shipping. So, like, you know, I wanted to get some out to my aunt in Buffalo in time for the Bills game, which we won't talk about yet. <laughs> but uh, we shipped it out, and so that's what got us kind of thinking, too. And so we're in the process of doing that. It won't be too far out before anybody can go online and order salmon from us. And it's all just nice incremental sales for us, you know. Not that we're not busy when we're at work, but, you know, throw a couple salmons in, in a box and ship it to wherever, you know. It's brilliant. So. It's, it's brilliant. And I, what I like about it um, is a lot of people don't, may not appreciate, uh, or maybe they do, it's subtle. It's yeah. not, it's, it's the flavor, is, it's just a perfect Flavor profile yeah. of not over the top because some people could carry it away with the smoke and stuff. Like yeah, that. this is just sub. It is so. Have we sublime. talked about the dip yet? Yeah, yeah the, the deck is. Jimmy yeah. pulled that up. Well, <laughs> and it's great that you mentioned that because I mean that's one of the biggest things Paul yeah, preached to us. Man. And you know, somebody coming from the beer industry that was always preaching yeah. to me too. Like it's Go always closer. beer first that happens to taste like this flavor, not yeah. like. Tropical punch, we're going to try and call a beer. <laughs> so, with Paul, Paul always preached, let the fish speak, you know, let the salmon be the salmon that happens to have, you know, this canvas of nice flavor with it, you know. So, we try to stick with that. So, yeah. you guys have a special right now. It's called Hit the Deck. All of our Cape Fan Fresh Catch people are going to get to start to experience that starting tomorrow when we launch our holiday specials. So, we have a salmon spread that's phenomenal too. Like, uh, Goes great on bagels. Goes great with a spoon in your face. Like it's, <laughs> it's awesome. Salmon on salmon's good, you know. <laughs> but, so Nutella. we decided we were making. We made a dip with our smoked mm-hmm. mussels, and it's called Hit the Deck. So it's, it's uh, phenomenal. It's, it's phenomenal. I'm, I'm going to pay you right now yeah. before you leave, you so too. I can have some for my fridge for the hot for, yeah, uh, yeah. for Thanksgiving. They got it at Utopia Farm right now too. They were the first to get it, just because we had to make some batches, and you know. So our dips have a 14-day shelf life on them, too. So these are some things, you know, we had to start to think about when you're going to do 
you know, off-premise sales out of your own place is you have to make these things, get them on a shelf in time before they go bad. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the beauty is the salmon and the mussels have two months on them, which gives us plenty of time for that stuff. But with your your 14 day window, you got to really time out those batches. Right. When you're I got a question for you. You just mentioned a 14 day window and that's a special and you can get it at Utopia only right now. Yeah. On your website, is it going to be listed where your specials at what locations that they're available at? Yeah, I mean, all locations. Right, we're working on that. Yeah. Zoe's okay, getting great. that down right now. Of like, we've been taking pictures at each one of our accounts of like what's on their shelf, and I think at some point that's what we'll do is list what products are carried there. Just because some of our products, like Wayne's Old Package Store, they don't carry our dip, but they have all of our different. They have our salmon, they have our mussels, and it's you know it's amazing sometimes where some products work and some products don't. And like if our dip's not working on a spot, we don't want to force it on them because we don't want to lose the product. Yeah, it's yeah. going to go bad in 14 days. Like somebody I mean, else wants it. Yeah. yeah. But most of our places carry pretty much everything because it all moves. It moves really fast. And it's uh, it's been good to see, you know, and it's in unlikely spots. Like you'll find, you know, a package store. Like we've started to find these new avenues. What is, that, what is required to, to, to keep this... Like, does it have to be refrigerated? And yeah, goes to the everything has to be refrigerated. Yeah, people are like, "Can you freeze it? You can, you can freeze anything." So yeah, you can freeze it. You wouldn't want it though. I mean, two months. Yeah. If you can't eat that little candy bar, <laughs> salmon, if you don't eat it the first day. There's something. It's, it's, maybe you don't like smoked salmon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, that's brilliant. Uh, but yeah, so everything's back sealed too, and you know. With the smoking process, that's it's got a lot of history, you know, with human beings in general. Like once, once humankind learned how to smoke meat, I mean, it's really a vital staple of how we survived, you know, culturally saving your food over the winter and stuff like that. So there's a lot of history behind it all too, which is great. So that's a great little pickup process. for the boat for a day oh, yeah, too. Yeah. Well, oh, oh, the thing about it. salmon, salmon is one is, is considered a superfood. Yeah. Almonds are super food. Yeah, it's high protein. High protein. Yeah. Yeah. Good a lot of salt in the smoke, though. I mean, well, I guess, yeah. like that's we get a lot of questions about that. All smoke products are just very high, high in salt. So mm -hmm. that's just that's what makes them age. So yeah. it's well, just uh, have, salt you, have you thought about teaming up with like Happy Valley to smoke some of the A little hybrid. Smoke it, smoke gummies. It's some conversations. I bet you seal the one stop shop. Yeah. <laughs> That is a one stop shop. Uh, Pat, can you do a roll call? Sure. Uh, I do have a couple of other questions. Go. Maybe let me throw those out first. One is do you do smoked octopus or sturgeon? Oh. <laughs> no, not yet. Like, uh, and probably we won't. Like, I mean, for us, we have to focus on the products we have. And we have, we have lots of other products we want to get involved. But for us, the biggest thing we want to jump to next is probably a whitefish like Haddock. Us being team, us being Cape Ann Fresh Catch also, and Twin Light is a division of Cape Ann Fresh Catch, you know? So, and the biggest thing about that is local, sustainable. You know, one of my favorite things we get from people is like, oh, is your salmon local? That doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, it doesn't exist. You know, so we try to get Faroe Island stuff when we can. It's been hard with COVID at times, but you know, most salmon you get that's from Atlantic, it's farm salmon, you know, this is in a, so that's a typical, we get a question about that, but other fish like octopus or anything like that, that's really not on our radar right now. And for several different reasons, but one, the, the main one being, it's not locally like sustainable fish. So like after holiday season, when we get done, it's a little busy right now. We're going to train on doing the haddock. And uh, we really want to get that out because having a local sustainable fish is going to help out the same guys we've been mm -hmm. trying to help out the right. fishermen. So yeah. that's why we've, we've reached more towards like we did a muscle dip too, like more ways to use the muscle. And it's also about more ways to use the product that you've already created. You know, our salmon spread comes from our pepper and smoked salmon. You know, our muscle dip now comes from the muscles we already make. So that way you don't have to deal with too many things shuffling around. But we do have some ideas for the future as far as our other smoked fish. Like when we get a white fish, one of the big ones we want to come out with is called Taco Time. It's just made for burritos and tacos, like spicy hot. Nice. Like uh, we're kind of looking at some of the other trends in the food industry, and it's like everybody loves tacos. So it's like <laughs> we need a taco one. Taco, well, taco Tuesday is a, is a big thing in a lot yeah. of people's houses. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, because it, it should be. Yeah. Fun fact, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Taco Tuesday is actually a registered trademark now. 
Is so, it? Yes. Um, it's, I think it's called Taco John. So they were trying to compete with Taco Bell and then they, they ended up using the term Taco Tuesday, which everybody does. <laughs> and so the, now you can't use that term because they trademarked it. Already. Guess what? I don't think they're coming after. Now we're, now we're in trouble. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop the press. I'm going to do burrito sabado. I don't think it's the same thing. Like people use <laughs> that. They do. But now you can't. It's become a thing. Yeah. Well, they're brilliant that they trademarked yeah. it. I don't they, did, they need a pretty big legal department to like come after. They went after some. I think they went after Taco Bell. I think it was or another. <laughs> did they want to war? We're in trouble. trouble. I guess we're in trouble, man. We're gonna have to dip into the. the no 451. Do they know who our attorney <laughs> is? Jim Dalpiaz. Jim Dalpiaz. <laughs> you want to screw with Jim Dalpiaz? Jim, Jim Dalpiaz LLC. <laughs> so the so the roll call includes Eve Elliott McCants, Are we Pat? Kim Lufkin Williams, who's wondering about ordering mussels online. It's yeah, okay. I mean, um, our online store isn't open yet, right? But it will be there. But if she lives okay. locally, you could go to. I could list some spots right now. You've got Willow's Rest. You've got Lanesville Package Store. You've got Marshall's Farm Stand. You've got a great new craft craft uh, alcohol store. Uh, liquor store right next to the Fish Shack and Rockport called C and Cellar. Good name. Ooh, they right. carry all of our stuff. So they're great oh, over what there. What is that place? Sea and Cellar. Sea yeah. and Cellar. Yeah, where right is downtown it? Dock Square. Yeah. Oh. Is, it, is, is that in Kenny? It's, oh, it's, it's in Kenny Porter's building? It's Kenny's son and his uh, his daughter-in-law. Wow. Run it. Yeah, they sell fresh seafood there, too, including our salmon and stuff, because they got Roy Moore's connected yeah. to it. Oh, cool spot. That. They're doing quite good, well. Good people. Yeah, and there's a bunch of others, like, but locally in Gloucester, that's what we got rocking kind of right now. Yeah, Vidalia's and uh, Beverly Farms. Yep, you got them. You've got um, you got Green Grocer and Ipswich. Are you You've in Tampa uh, Farms? Not yet. We've got Butcherelli's up. In, I think I'm saying that right. Up in Salisbury, <laughs> um, uh, Danvers Butchery. Oh, Danvers Butchery. Um, you, put, you got some yeah. pretty, all. How about Common Crow? Not yet. But we'll, what? We'll be getting them. Well, we, you got to remember too. So we just got, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just we just got we just got started doing this too. So we just started doing the sales side of it. Like we we have we ju we're just starting sales. So if I, so this is like a time to invest. Yeah. This is yeah. Time, like right like, now, they're, they're, they're like this right Shark now, and they're about to go like this. Right. We yeah. really haven't released. I want to get in on the yeah. ground floor. Can yeah. I get in? Yeah. <laughs> like we really haven't released our sales yet. Mainly it's our online platform we're using. But, um, you know, we're going to be hitting the streets quite hard right after the holidays. Like, I'm going to be doing a lot of the sales stuff. You guys are and, uh, absolutely ready. Up. You know, we that's what's good, too. Like, with Cape Ann Fresh Catch, we now have, like, a, a fleet of trucks. We have two, so we ha can have more than one driver on the road, which also will free us up to go do sales and focus on selling, working on twin lights from the time. Are these for us to try? Yeah. Okay, so what, I'm going to say, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a call right now yeah. that one of these... Prize it up. One of these is going to be one of the prizes as well. Okay, okay. so so I'm going to take a, we're going to take a little break right now. Felicia's going to come in. Oh, yeah, actually, you can zoom on her because she wants to social distance. Yeah. Oh, Jim, sit right there. Yeah. Felicia, yeah. announce what you're going to do. Oh. So we have so we have a, so so as far as the sharing for prizes, we added another one right here that with with uh and how many ounces is this roughly? Uh, it's right on there, 0. 0.43 probably. Old, old guys. No, okay. So the dates <laughs> and the uh, your weights on there, but that looks about just My shy weight better not be on there. Yeah, point, yeah 0. 0.44 pounds. So uh, from right here from uh, Twin Light Smokehouse, this will be one of the prizes. And now Zoom, take it over to Felicia. Yeah, hand that to her. Can we decide what numbers I'm doing? Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do 20, for, 20 for, for the uh, extra one. And then we'll do uh, 25 for the good There's two, there's two purple. Yeah, so well, any, you any, said, oh, you said. Yeah. No, I know, but you so saw, I said you decide the number. No, one of them is whatever the number we get at is one of them. Okay, so one is just regular, and then one if there's um, 20, you want 20 shares? I thought we were going to do more. Okay, 20 shares, and then what, 25 or 30 shares, they'll be the good 25, yeah. Yeah, 25. and we're already up to 10. Yeah. So, so you have to share. You have to comment share. Oh, got a new one. So if you share the link for the podcast for today's, right now, um, I have one cookbook that's automatically going in regardless of how many shares. If we sh if it's shared 20 times, I will there'll be two cookbooks Got up it. for grabs. One, one extra cookbook. One extra cookbook up for grabs. Right. And then if we get to 30 shares, what do you want? 25. 25 shares, I have... 
a half a dozen of good Jadati cookies that I just made the other day, and they are not through Sister Felicia's kitchen. It's just Felicia because I no longer sell cookies, so I don't want to hear from the Board of Health. Uh, that is just a generous little donation. Yep, not selling them. I'm not selling them. Uh, not selling them. Not selling them. Not selling them. They contain nuts. <laughs> no, you can't try one of those. No. And they are made in a kitchen that has nuts. So if you have a nut allergy or something you feel has a nut allergy, don't pick that price. Oh, Barry was helping <laughs> you in the kitchen? I was going to say, I forgot to mention coconut. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there's That's that. That's awesome. We And we shot up to 13. Oh, wow. wow. So we're going to make it, too. So, all right, I love it. Yeah. We got great prizes today. Yeah. Time out. Since we still oh. have Felicia here. Yeah, we There's need one to... one issue that we need to address. A pending right issue. Just a whole pending right. issue. I think last week, last week, uh, when your mother was here, you made a clear statement that that Felicia was the pain in the ass in, was... in the family. And there we go. Well, and what did I say? <laughs> and what did I say? All right, we just went. I didn't say pain in the ass. No, you did. I didn't say pain in the ass. She was the bitch. The bitch. She always worked. I was a piece of bread. As my mother used to say, I was the piece of bread. And now, he, he was the pickiest eater, though, I will tell you that. Yeah, he was. He's the way bread. pickiest of picky eaters. Yeah, that's true. He wouldn't have, like, crunchy peanut butter. Like, he, like, crunchy peanut butter either on toast or in a peanut butter sandwich or creamy, vice versa. So, like, right. if you put the wrong peanut butter on either a sandwich well, or toast, uh, this is you have a nervous breakdown. Young. Super See, this is the he stuff we need to know about right? Captain Joe. Like, my mother made a special meal for him. Like, I ate whatever my parents ate, but he always had a special meal until he went to college. He came out, and actually, it was probably when you got married, I think. That's uh, when you started branching out. No, you know, like, you never would eat sushi. No one wants to hear about We laughed. We do. No, we I don't know. Laughed. Everybody wants to hear about, hear about that. Nobody would have ever dreamed. Any, all my cousins would, will tell you. But if we get Nobody 40 shares, we get another Joey story. Yeah. <laughs> 40 shares gets another story from Susan. <laughs> 50 shares, you get a naked picture of Joe. No. <laughs> There's a lot of kids that are like that. My son was like that. My son eats everything now, but he was a texture kid. He didn't like certain things. Oh, you're a texture kid. Yeah, he was. Oh, he was. was. I was. I was. I, I, okay, so I'm, okay, we're gonna just we'll stop right there, but I have a, I have a theory about this. this is, so I have no, I have a theory about this. This is, a, this is uh, it, my mother, as an uh, Italian mother, it was enabled this behavior. <laughs> this is how this is how it works. If you if you tell them that's what you have, if you don't want to eat it. Then go fuck yourself. Then, <laughs> then, then you're gonna eat what's on. Eventually, you're gonna get to eating it, right? But that's you're gonna, not you're how Italian mother but Italian mother's like, oh, you don't like it? Well, don't, I, let me, yeah. I'll get. I'll make you. A, I won't. I'm not gonna scrape off the few sesame seeds that got on there. I'm gonna make you a whole nother piece. Yeah. And that's when you know that 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 well, you know that that's on the table, very good point. Then you're gonna do it. Yep. It's nature. You know, that's just. I still do it for my kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you were caught. I was, well, my mother spoiled me. Yes, one hundred percent. I work hard, but she spoiled me. Does Pat have any comments? Is she chiming in at all? <laughs> no, I no. haven't heard from I Pat today. To um, but we do have quite we have quite a crew today. Yeah, we have, we have a lot people. of people. So welcome everybody. We're glad you're here. So you, you don't want to go through the people? Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, Wayne Moulton <laughs> says hi. Cynthia Oliver, Michael Bertolino thinks we're all nuts. <laughs> nice wow, mean. thank you. There he is. <laughs> Robert Nailed and it. Annette Spanks have uh, joined us. Ed Collard. Hey, hi, Patrick hi. Um, T. McNally, who was with us earlier. Lorraine Giampa Horn. Bob it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <play. laughs> um, James Rashad. Eileen Kelly. Andrew Weiner. Weiner. Weiner, sorry. Mary Ann Ladder. Good names. Yeah, yeah. We've got Pauline's is on, Nathan Grace. Some of these names we could Chris go Chris Thompson. Oh, yeah. I monstrous gangbang. Right. <laughs> 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 uh, anyway, <laughs> podcast. Oh, there you go. What would your poor name be? If, if and our name. neighbor, Brianne. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, everybody. We appreciate it. Uh, so, how many shares are we up to? Uh, we are at 14. 14. So, six more for an extra cookbook. All right. Uh, <clears throat> So, Felicia, if we don't get to the shares, are we opening those? Sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have made it higher. We should have made it higher. We should have made it higher. Um, so, oh, uh, I thought that this was. Oh, we want to thank the guys from the Farm Bar and Grill who, who uh, hosted oh, yeah. us. The oh, other yeah. Day. Um, very, very, very generous with us. We got to try their chicken sandwich, which was outstanding. 
the plain Jane. Mm. The plain Jane. Oh, yeah. 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 So good. They, yeah. They, the Tennessee Hot. Uh, so thank you to Brad, Noah, and Ryan. Uh, our server, Denise, was great. She was very, very uh, helpful. And uh, the manager, Alyssa, who's, uh, who's always really nice to us. Um, nice spread out area. It was nice to sit around. and. I love what they, you know, I, I was with those guys in the very beginning um, when they opened up. Dodgeball. 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 Oh my God. Yeah. So you were too. Oh, yeah. I got, <laughs> I got crushed. I had to get, like, the EMT. Oh, no, I didn't get that bad. Yeah, I, like, ran up and got crushed. And I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
still sink on that boat. <laughs> I don't need anybody else. Yeah. Oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Beverly Lowe, who shared, is also commenting, sadly, the ladies have fewer choices on Gilligan's Island. Oh, come on. That is true. I have yeah, to say, do we have to pick one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I choose me. Not I choose me. I don't know. Some of those people that just showed up out of nowhere, the, you know, on that island. That randomly stopped by. Yeah, that randomly stopped yeah. by. Exactly. Never took them with us. Yeah. No. <laughs> Never. Disappeared. I don't know. I don't know. They wanted to leave. Yeah, the professor was a hot girl, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, Nicole. I thought she was a hot girl. What's your yeah. choice, Nicole? We were just talking about the dog. Oh, Didn't somebody dog. have a dog? Was there a if dog? I have to choose between what, Gilligan, Skipper, the professor, oh, Mr. Howell, Mr. Howell, or the dog, somebody brought a dog. I'm going to hang out with the dog. Yeah. Howell was good looking. The professor actually had a yeah had a dorky come on he yeah. well, what are you a dorky why would you get Mr. Howe what are you gonna do with those so I want to give a big shout out to, <laughs> to, uh, to say more. Uh, Lynn and Phil I call them Thurston and Lovey Lynn and Phil oh the scales I love they're them known, so much. yes they're known as uh, Lovey and Thurston oh there you go. <laughs> this is a little fun fact for you fun okay. fact uh, oh I should mention Bex uh, Bex Borden is gonna join us next week. Right, someone done it? I, Somebody's yelling, yes, Joe. Hey, okay. I wanted you to talk about the Gloucester Police Comfort Dog. Yes. Uh, I think it's yes. kind of cool. Did you hear that. about uh, uh, Did you hear about this? His name is Ace, or her name. I'm not really sure. Who is this? Has <laughs> been adopted by the uh, I'm still eating my police bread. force. He, he's intended to be a comfort dog, and he's going to be with the school resource officer, and he's particularly... Um, Primarily uh, aimed for those kids with ADD or ADHD or have behavioral problems and may need a little extra um, comfort. So ACE is beautiful, but they need a little bit of help um, with expenses uh, related to ACE. So the Gloucester Police Cops and Kids Department is offering to businesses that local businesses can adopt ACE for a month and they will have a the business's patch will be on the dog um, for the month, and they'll bring the dog by the business um, now and again for the, um, the customers to meet Ace. And um, so they're looking for um, help with that. Um, I think we should volunteer Joe handsome. while he's not here. You think so? <laughs> Maybe that's what we GMG should do. Where do so I'm going to put gonna a, do so. Chris. Excuse me. Where do the businesses go to, to actually help? I'm going to put a link in there right now that has the contact information on it. And um, if people are interested, they can go there and take a look at that. Joe, what Joe kind of is, dog is it? Uh, I was afraid somebody that would sorry, ask me I'm that. Sorry, I, sorry, I uh, it it is a, a, I'm gonna a lab. yellow lab, maybe, yeah. or a retriever. One of the one of, one the of those big what you know yellow dogs. It looks it's it's awfully sweet. I'm not really a big it's dog. It's not a pit bull. It's not a pit bull. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a lot. Of, she's Can looks so sweet. very comforting. <laughs> Joe, Joe is, is very definitely afraid of, uh, of dogs. But, yeah. So Joe, really? Joe, so, we're, so we signed up to for Ace to come here, didn't oh, you? While you were gone? Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Your yeah. patch yeah. will be in yeah. yeah. Your, your lawyer, your lawyer signed up on it. Thank you, Joe. I didn't give him power of attorney. <laughs> Golden Retriever. It's all. It's oh. in the contract. That we, that we signed when we came on. Joe, you need a dog. I had a golden retriever so you can talk. Two year anniversary of his passing. This, oh, uh, this yeah, place is great for dogs. Yeah, you we all know that, that, don't you? Yeah. We know this Conan place is great for dogs. Oh, we should stay right in the, the poop stain. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why don't you put that? Do you want to see Ace now? Here's Ace. Here's Ace. Back a little bit. Back a little bit. Back a little bit. There we go. Look at Ace. Here's Ace. Isn't that sweet? Who does Ace live with when Ace isn't? I Which do not know. That's, that's a good question. That's a great thing to do. That's excellent. Uh, Isn't that awesome? Maybe we can have Ace in on the podcast. Uh, maybe we'll have. Maybe we'll talk to Jeremiah. Talk about uh, getting views. Yeah. yeah there you why, go. Why, People why, love why dogs. People do love dogs. That's why. Listen, big brain guy here. That's what, that's what I do. <laughs> it's obviously, it's obviously not because not because I, I want the dog here. It's, because, it's all about the viewers. And the Text the your viewers. kid has become big brain guy. Yeah, okay. it's from not eating like crunchy peanut Text butter. He can think better now. No crunchy peanut butter was hard. No hard. crunchy okay, peanut butter. Okay, the dog loves peanut butter. We're going to take these out of this goddamn plastic so you can get a good shot of this. Felicia's cookbooks. How much do they retail for? Point. 
Forty dollars. So if you want, to, if, if someone doesn't win it today, but they want to buy it, where can they go to buy it? Just reach me through Facebook or through you. Face, okay, uh, text me and we'll get... They used to be at the cave, but they're not. So these are $40 retail value. Is it 40%? Back, back a little bit. Right there. That's good. It has okay. all the Thanksgiving recipes in it. All the Thanksgiving recipes. How to cook a turkey. How to cook a turkey. <laughs> stuff in cranberry sauce, butternut squash soup, acorn, stuffed acorn squash. Uh, yeah. It also it, it has... Sophia said the other day she never yeah, had... Hold up a couple uh, pictures, Joe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw it. I don't know. I don't know those people. So, anyway, <laughs> okay, we can't have these side conversations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> $40 value. <laughs> you I didn't even stop for two seconds. <laughs> 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 Forty dollars value. Oh, that's a good one. That's I will not be treated like this anymore. Yes. <laughs> if you share the goddamn podcast and you type in, and you type in shared, you have a chance to, to win this. If we reach 20 shares, there's going to be a second one, which increases your odds to win. Also, TJ donated one of the packets, a half a pound of the, the Twin Light Smokehouse Salmon. Unbelievable stuff. If we reach 30... Felicia's homemade kuchadadis that are not for sale. She, these are just to eat, and if you have nut allergies, don't don't take that. Uh, we also have more prizes. We have a couple of books. And we have a gator from Pauline's uh, Pauline's gifts. So there's that. So the key with this book, just quickly, is I'm a proud owner of the cookbook, but it's the the stories and the pictures that are inside too. So it's it's not your typical cookbook. Um, it's well worth uh, getting it or winning it. I'm looking for a picture of Joe because there's a couple there's old pictures, pictures in of there. Joe. There's pictures with, with me with hair in there. Yeah, with hair, right. So there's pictures of him from Halloween. That's another okay. reason to get a copy if you want to see pictures of Joe with hair. No, I'm We're up to 19. We're up to 19. Harry McKenna, Logan, wow. and Rob Cluett have Cluett. Rob, Cluett. Rob Cluett. Cluett. So if we get to 20, <laughs> but thank you. I love, the, I love the effort. I like the That's why she's not a tiger. Because every time she becomes a tiger, you put her back in the cage. <laughs> Let the tiger roar, would you? Let the tiger roar. That should be, that should be the subtitle of this podcast. Yeah. Let the tiger, the tiger roar. roar. Yeah. Let yeah. The tiger roar. Well, the tiger and and her mate brought a little um a little treat for the 450th cop podcast. Oh, we'd, like to, no, we'd like to unveil them right now. Treat alert. Okay. Treat alert. I didn't give it Joey well, knowledge it was yeah. number 450. No. Well, it, we, well, you will now, right? More or less. So four. So there is a story, of course. All right. Tell me what you want me to open. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go. go ahead, Tiger. Uh, are we focused on the box right here? Yep. <laughs> We're and, and by that you mean <laughs> so these the are special um, <laughs> commemorative uh, for the four hundred and fifth to celebrate the four hundred and fifth. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, wow. Oh, and no. I almost brought Shallow this morning. Oh, Did you oh, really? Oh. And he was texting the, 400, me the 45th podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Under the and camera the story part That's comes awesome. in. I'll hold it up. <laughs> Obviously, it's supposed to say 450, but when they arrived, it said 45. Uh -huh. and they did not. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, they were like, they <laughs> 2020, 2020. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's awful small. Yeah, well, they kept focus. Good ones. Right. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it, it's more about our rate of pay, <laughs> yes. our salaries, and our and and that is very, yeah. very, very generous. So everybody gets one. Awesome. Uh, Actually, when we called, they told us that 2020 used all the zeros up. So they said, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. They said we ran hey, out. We have gone over 20. Oh, uh, with uh, Kim Lufkin Williams and Chris Donato. Oh, Chris, Chris Donato, Donato from uh, Nice. Wow. That is awesome. That was very generous to you guys. I love it. Do we have anything to pour? Chris, Chris Donato. And any we, Bud Light Seltzers left in the refrigerator? Uh, we have something in there. Uh, we'll, sure. we'll, we'll get to that towards the end. It's the awesome. it's the end of November, and Chris Donato has Bass Rocks looking, looking like Augusta National. I mean, it's it's great. It great nice job, Chris. Life. It's, it's it's crazy what you're doing with. I don't know how they how they manage all those leaves throughout. This. I got a big blower. Seriously, <laughs> yeah. Another sucker. 
<laughs> you, you're getting the, the special oil all over me. So, I think this is a great topic submitted by, by Scotty Mack. Oh. Because <laughs> my wife. I feel I, like this is a setup. No. Okay. Well, I get a new mask. Okay. We get worried. When we, we get worried, Scotty, when there's compliments. No, that's right. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> so the, the, the so do you want to you want you want to why don't you announce because it's your topic the Thank one you. with the uh, on the contractor. Text, oh, the, the the title yes. of the, the topic is texting etiquette. Take, so take texting there. etiquette. Um. I had recently come across a story, and it's actually happened to me, and it's probably happened to you as well if you're in business. Um, <clears throat> what is the texting etiquette where this uh, this woman, I'll tell you the story. The woman texted a contractor uh, looking for a quote to uh, put some carpet down in her house. And the contractor got the text. It was after midnight, um, and the contractor replied to the text, here is your quote, who the fuck? Texts for a price quote after midnight. So where where do you draw the line at what time you should text somebody or should you email them, let them read it in the morning? So, so what do you what do you guys think? I'm going last. Go ahead, TJ. Oh, I would definitely wait till the morning. Anything business oriented, and nobody's going to bat you respond? It. Nobody's going to bat an eye at that. I would just wait till the morning <laughs> when I'm up with my kids early to, to respond and respond. But and you respond. have a problem. I guess the, the thing is, do you have a problem with someone sending that text in the middle of the night? No, not real. I don't know. First, I've done sales for a long time, so it's like I've gotten weird ones at weird times of night, especially with beer, you know, sales and stuff. So <laughs> like, I just but. I feel weird responding back, you know, so I think you send a message if you wait till the morning and send the text, at least that person will kind of pick up what you're laying down, like, yeah, I'll talk to you during business hours kind of thing, but I wouldn't be upset about it, you know, okay. but if they were upset that I didn't get back to them after midnight, that's on them. It's like, all right. That's a conversation you have with your friends about that text later on. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you fall on it, Scott? I fall kind of a, uh... In between, my industry is entertainment, and I'm usually a nightlife guy. So um, it's a cutthroat business. So if I, with all the social media and avenues of people, so feel comfortable now reaching out to you on many different platforms, whether it's Facebook Messenger or Instagram, Snapchat. I mean, you, you almost have to keep up in my industry and others too, um, where you're so accessible. But it also flips the page on you, too, because if you don't get back to them and right. they know they've reached you, you know, and you just haven't had a chance to respond or whatever. So it, it, if somebody calls you and says, I got a wedding coming up, are you available this date? And it's 1030 and it's on a Facebook messenger and I'm up, I'll respond to it. Yeah. You know, but how, but, you, but how do you feel about sending a note? Send, would you say that? Would you, would you, if you had a question for a contractor and, it, and it's, it's nine o'clock at night. Do you, do you wait till the morning to send it? Or do you... As a business person, I wait. Like being being for me to send something out. If it's like your buddy or you have that relationship, right? That's they feel comfortable. Does anybody else have any strong feelings about this? Or yes. What? Okay, go ahead. So I do social media, so I mm -hmm. deal with comments coming in all mm -hmm. times. You know, and if someone's gonna text me on my personal phone for business after like nine. Screw you. <laughs> well, <laughs> there are so many options now with Facebook and Instagram yeah. where it can automatically respond and say, like, hey, we're not in right now, but we'll get back to you first thing in the morning. True. And, yeah. Or email. But if you're, or email is fine. Like, I don't care what time you send it as long as it's not to my personal phone right. on my bed stand when I'm asleep at 730 at night. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up early. The question is, do you keep your ring on? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, just so, because okay. it's oh, I think, that, I think that has yeah. a lot right. to do with it. Yeah. Yeah. Felicia, do you have a strong opinion on this? I just think in today's world, it's business. Everyone's trying to stay in business. Yeah. I just think, personally, my phone's always on because I have kids, so yeah. Yeah. I answer. Anybody else? I'm like, awesome. yeah, I feel Nicole? like um, I get... I'm so busy during the day that most of like what I get done for myself that's yeah. like at all productive happens after 11 o'clock at night. And I feel like if you put your cell phone out there for business and you're hoping to get business and that's the phone number you've shared, then it's fair game. 
you don't have to and you don't have to respond at all but i think if someone's like remembering at 11 30 yeah, at night like, and that's the other crap i, I keep on forgetting to reach out to so and so this is the only time i'm going to remember yeah. to do it because then i'm swamped all day long and, and if they've shared that number they've shared that, that number to get business if, if you have that rapport with that person then i think it's right, right. i think so where this, do they get so the i think that this I mean, is where do they get the phone number right. Right. they got exactly. the phone number it's their business phone number. i believe that this is a generational thing mm -hmm. yeah because my wife and I bicker over this all the time. Well, we don't bicker because we're so in love that we never, <laughs> we never, we never bicker. It's without without the witch, no, no, I no. be the one fine with it? No, 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 no I, I don't. Here's the thing, because because you're closer to my wife's age, I think probably. <laughs> I guess. A lot, younger, a lot younger than me. Oh, oh. Quit while you're ahead. That's yeah. right. yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Keep thinking. So my theory is, so I turn my cell phone off at night, and I'm with you, Nicole, and I think Felicia, that, um, like, if I have a thought of, of a, I need a question a answered on something, I just assume that I text a person that their phone is off as well. Maybe I'm, t maybe I'm wrong, but I just say, I say, okay, when they wake up, generally, I think, in my head, everybody, you wake up, you pick up your phone, you get to reply to whatever is pending from the day before because I go to bed pretty early because I have to get up so early and then and I clear my slate so I I don't have a problem with anybody texting me because I just assume that I'm going to get to it when I get to it anyway and and I and that but but I guess the rub is so there isn't a perfect answer because some people do leave their cell phones on overnight so I could see where that would be very annoying. Yeah, I would say do email or social media if you're going to reach out to someone. I mean, it's still it's still on their phone. It's still going to pop up as a notification, mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily going to start oh, ringing at me. You know, I keep my phone on Do Not Disturb, but still, if you know the light turns on and mm -hmm. it's for emergencies, but I feel mm -hmm. like if if you're calling someone professionally, they have those other oh, avenues. To my, my wife is in your camp 100%. She says, do not text that person. Do not, because they're, they're, they're like, they're off duty right now. And I'm like, well, like, you know, it, sometimes it's just a, a simple yes or no, or yeah, I'll call you in the morning or whatever. I know that they get the message and, and that that's off my plate for something that I need well, to Some get. people really appreciate that. It's not a brush off and a quick response. Be, hey, I'll get a hold of you tomorrow. And then they're, they're satisfied with that instead yeah. of getting into it. So. Yeah. What, I, what I do on my phone, because I never shut my phone off because of my kids, I have um, special ringers for both kids and my husband. So, you know, if my son in the middle of the night yeah. calls me, I know it's him. So I'll reach over my nightstand and I will answer the phone. Yeah. If, if it dings and whistles and it's not, yeah, you know, yeah, somebody really important, important yeah. special ring, I don't answer it, you know. I might look at it and be like, I'll, I'll text him in the morning, or if I'm not, I'll answer it, you know. Uh, all right, well, there you go. I th th so, th so to clear it up, there is no right or wrong answer, yes, it seems. Right. It's like, it's Use what, your best judgment. No, I mean, I, I mean <laughs> yeah, it, it, it depends on what, I mean, I, I, I think in my life, I would change it a little bit to say, I'll only do this if it's really important. Maybe that's the maybe that's the way to handle it, or to go through face. So, so you're saying? So wait, you said that if they sent you a Facebook message, it's okay, but not. Yeah, because there's a different. You're differentiating. I am. Yeah, because okay. with the Facebook message, it, it doesn't necessarily ding. You're still gonna get a notification in the morning. It's mm -hmm. it's more of a professional avenue yeah. nowadays rather <laughs> than a text message where. If and in your mailbox instead of in your ear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you know, if, if I email. if I need to mm -hmm. talk to someone, I'm I'm more likely to call them anyways, which I think is a little bit odd for someone my age. But I prefer to talk on the phone. So if I have a question, right. I'm gonna call someone on the phone and talk to them, and I'm not gonna call them at midnight. Like I think that is more accepted. Now. Like I remember when Facebook first came, Facebook Messenger first came out. I had this one account that like I hadn't heard from in a while. And I stopped and the woman was irate with me. She's like, I've been trying to get a hold of you forever. I'm like, I'm like, I don't have any missed calls. I don't have any missed emails. She's like, I've been instant messaging you on Facebook. This is like when Facebook yeah, yeah. first started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, whoa, I'm like, that's not a professional like platform. Like, 
email or call, you have my cell phone number. You know, yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, but even still, awesome. a lot of people don't don't use Messenger yeah. on Facebook. I mean, I think now you it's gotten more because it, people yeah. use it more. But like back then, it was like I didn't even know how to use it. Was, it. Yeah. I was like, I'm like, I don't yeah. know, like somebody. That's like it'd be like yeah. have somebody's like I reached out to you on you Twitter. Know what the bad or thing you're about, like, I don't. Why would you Twitter. do that? The bad thing about Messenger, just to touch on that real quick, is uh, the little icon <laughs> in the bottom right hand thing. It says check it if it's unread. Red. Once it's red, your picture shows up in the corner to say that you saw it. So if you don't respond, yeah, then yeah, you're yeah. an asshole. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah no, yeah. Like, no. oh, he read that. He didn't respond. Yeah, he didn't even respond. He couldn't even give right. the two seconds to respond. Right, but they don't understand. Like, right. like, listen, you're asking me for a quote. I haven't had a conversation right. with you to give you what's needed at your event. So I can't give you a proper quote, but I yeah. saw your message. And it blows up your spot. Yeah, yeah. Would you like to, yeah. Red at 1138. You know, oh. They're all, most businesses are on Facebook and they do have those automatic responses. Right. Like, if you'd yeah. like to quote, email me here and we can discuss your needs and right. times. And, you know, so it's, maybe I should go in and adjust you my need some help. You need a social media <laughs> manager, Scotty. Joe, I have two. Do you happen to know one, Zoe? I might. <laughs> I have two, quick, two quick points. Um, you, people may have heard about this, but uh, Wheel of Fortune, Beauport Hotel, is going to be one of the prizes on the wheel. Um, I don't know if it's oh, this wow. week or next week. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, I oh, saw that. On the Wheel of Fortune? Fortune? Yeah, awesome. on the Wheel of Fortune. How did you not make this a post? Uh, can you, are you saying I, wheel I, I or whale? Te- what are you saying? Whale. W-H-A-L-E. I heard whale. Whale of Fortune. Is this like a Vineyard Vines thing that you have going on over there? We are in this big workout. What is this? It's like the Wheel of Fortune. Show you the creature call. I know that I'm seeing the, the comments over here. You can read some of the comments. Arlie Pat, I thought, made a good comment. Be a tiger. Yeah, Arlie. Be a tiger. Get out of the cage. <laughs> the re, re, regard, regarding the phone, um, uh, the texting etiquette, um, we've had some comments, including um, Arlie Pat, who said, some of us need to keep our phones on for notifications for commercial building fire and burglar alarms overnight. Uh, which is a good point. Yeah. Wayne Moulton says, what's the sense of having a cell phone if you're not going to answer it? Yeah. And he's laughing. <laughs> and Patrick <laughs> McNally is suggesting that you can, in his iPhone settings, if someone sends to my iPhone only, those in my favorites all come through. Oh, um, But so, for so others, I have silenced them. Disturbed. It silenced them overnight. So you, please, is that what Patrick's what you can do, me? What you can do is you can have your favorites... Uh, come through and everybody else be silent. Yeah, I just have my phone set that way anyway. Maybe I'll do that for my daughters. I'm busy. I don't answer my phone unless it's my kids. So. Well, back in the day, if it was important, you had a landline. You didn't have these handheld yeah. computers yeah. right here with you all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if, some, if the phone rang after 7 o'clock, you knew something was important. Comcast <laughs> triple play. Yeah. The only reason people stand up landlines is because it's cheaper to have a landline. Yeah. Yeah. A Comcast triple yeah. play. Yeah. Well, I think that's one of my pet peeves with cell phones is like, and maybe it's just the people who used to have landlines and knew what landlines were. And is my pet peeve is if you're walking with somebody or so you're leaving a restaurant, you're going to get into a car, you're walking down the street and that person's phone rings. My pet peeve are the people who have to be stationary with your <laughs> cell phone portable phone. It goes with you. Like, we need to go somewhere. Yeah, well, they talk. call it's it portable. Yeah. Like, yeah. go with it. Those are the they people find the corner, that can't walk and they'll be like, hold on. And they'll be on this conversation. And you're like, can't you go with the same No, no. The, 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 the worst one is the, the worst one is the girl walking down the, the store with, a, with the, oh, the, the, the uh, speaker. speaker in a store. Yeah. Jo- I, got the, I got a better one. <laughs> Maggie Basket. Oh, God. Maz age group. Their Mac- phone rings. Their phone rings. You go to basket, you pay attention. Any older person like my mother's age, the phone rings, they pull their mask down yeah. off their face to talk on the phone. Oh yeah. I can't tell you. I literally lose my mind every time I go to market basket. I'm like, do they realize it's like you can do that? And it's not just people. But like seriously, age. it makes me absolutely wild. That's I'm like, why right. are they taking their freaking mask down? They're the ones that we are supposed to be staying home for. Oh, yeah, my- I can't tell you how many people would walk into the restaurant and have their mask on and walk up to the host stand and go, can I have a table for four? Yeah. <laughs> <And I'm> like, <laughs> what? Yeah. You're like, you know, you know, it's more dangerous it's so than you're funny. talking. I kind of love when you're walking around with them 
and the phones are going off and no one's answering it, and you have to walk up there and say, it's yours. Oh, I didn't hear it. <laughs> All right, five-minute warning right now for the shares. Yeah, we're up to 24. Oh, Ooh, baby. Ooh. So how many did we say for the Kuchinadis? Because I'm hoping. 25. Are you sure it wasn't 30? I think it was 40. No, 40 was a naked picture of Joe. It was yeah. it was 20 for the book, cookbook. So we got one the more and the cookie bodies go out? Yeah, that's how I understood it. Oh, Am I wrong? I, or maybe we should maybe we should end it right Sorry, now. Sorry, why are you worried? I have like a whole food. Because <laughs> I'm hungry right now. <laughs> they look so good, I want to eat them right now. Okay, we got we got the 25th share thanks to I, Zoe. Thank nice. you. Do I have another good one? We did seltzers last week, the Bud Light seltzers. We talked about the different flavors, holiday flavors. Yep. Last night I had an apple crisp yep. Bud Light seltzer Ooh. with Fireball. Ooh, that it, sounds good. It, it was outstanding. That sounds good. I highly recommend it. You're hanging out with your son. Oh, I, I wanted to try the apple crisp with uh with uh some uh with rum. With rum, oh that's right. You had mentioned the dark rum. No, you, that was the ginger snap. The ginger, ginger snap with the with the with, with the dark rum. Yeah. Have you guys had the down east cider donut? Oh my son just bought it's it. It's like the, all the rage. Like, yeah, it's really? hard. You can only buy one pack at one four pack at a time. Oh Dang. My God. But it it's great, but it's like it just tastes like cider. That's what a cider donut tastes like. Well, it just finally took a cider donut. I do enjoy this many years to be like, we should call it cider donut. It's like, genius. Mind blown. Public service announcement turkeys. Turkeys, yeah. Big frozen turkeys need to go in the fridge from your freezer like today. Right? Yeah. That's our PSA. All the grocery stores have the turkeys for like super cheap right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Does anybody notice the turkeys? Like usually people are big gatherings, so to get a big turkey you have to start tying them up. There's all the big turkeys, but there's no small turkeys for sure. Yeah. It's the government. It's the government top hiding yeah. all the yeah. big turkeys. Oh, Hit up your farm them. stands. They got them all. I can't. I can uh, never even uh, find a turkey. I swear to God, every time I go to a grocery store. What do you do? Go the day yeah. before? Yeah. How do you know yeah. the turkey? Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, all right. That's all right. <laughs> Pretty much. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, well, I've always done like my family. I was married until he was going to pick up that. All right. Shall I have a question? Go ahead. Um, can you ask anybody if they have any red pool noodles? <laughs> uh, you, are you focused on fish? Yep. You can get a little closer. I you. need. I am looking for like six red pool noodles. If anybody has them, you can bring them down to the wharf to Joey. Oh, like project. the wacky noodles. Curious. I'm yes. thinking like yeah. I'm thinking edible stuff. I'm like, what is a pool noodle? Yeah, <laughs> the floaty noodles, the long noodles, um, or green, or green. I can yeah. do red or green. I'm in need of both. Right. Um, for a project for um, Joey's niece and nephew, yep. working on. Yeah, big time. What did my marker have? So they usually sell in the lobby, and the pools were closed. I know. I ordered them on Amazon. They are not at the dollar store. We heard no, yesterday. We, yeah, no, I know. I know. Trust me, I know. You can't order them on Amazon. It's just, it's um, it's a pretty big project. And Nicole yesterday dropped off a bunch of supplies um, to Kitchen. That was oh, super you. helpful. She saved me a trip out of town. Um, yeah. So if anybody has pool noodles, please, please, please. She uh, actually had a fun fact about pool noodles. Oh yeah, the guy who invented pool noodles was a was like a plumber, and he'd throw the pipe covers in the pool for his kids to play with. Wow. Oh, now yeah. he's a billionaire. I think. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's like, it's sort of hilarious. Yeah. Um, Interesting. If anyone I'd like to, if anyone that hasn't yet, please go check out my art show at uh, K Band Coffees. Um, what is the cutoff, Joe? To um, to if you wanted to print bigger, I just wanted to know for Christmas. One of the one of my say, prints? Yeah, say say somebody wanted to order a bigger print. Well, um, we'd have to go to James Eves probably. I'm guessing like three or four days for James. Okay, the, the cutoff for Christmas, like to get it in time for Christmas. What are you saying? They're already you? printed at Cape Ann. Oh, you can just go and pick them up. Yeah, Which they're all, they're, they're on the wall. Yeah, they're, they're, and they're framed, so you don't have to. So a lot of pay, pay, places sell their prints, and the print is a lot of money, and then it costs twice as much for the mm. for the frames. These are framed. For one hundred fifty dollars, it's a really good value, good. Uh, and I'm proud of the work. So check them out at Cape yeah, Coffee. Thanks for having my stuff there. Um, and we, okay, let's do our uh, let's do our pick. All right, uh, how many? We got twenty five exactly. On twenty six. Twenty six. All right. If any come in before.
you practice. All right, I gotta get my six, random my now. random number generator. The He's first one. Shake it. Watch, Joe's gonna shake it. Everybody. I'm gonna watch it. Like usually. Julia says hello. <laughs> Wait, did you say twenty six or twenty five? Six. Okay, so this is. Tiger Pat, any other comments, questions? Uh, a comment that most of the live turkeys seem to have gone missing from Hesper's Avenue, and I, I'll, I, I will agree. I will agree. I haven't seen a turkey in quite a while over there. They're all in phases, yeah. Yeah. Good job about wearing field and rock for it. All right, we're going to go right here. We have, a, we have a massive beaver behind us. Oh. And you should be okay, talking so about right. So jokes what jokes. you're going to do, you're going to comment back, with the price that you okay, okay, right? yeah, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get back here and I'll say that. So this is how it works. You comment on what prize that you want. The, the, first per, the first person that gets picked gets the first pick. But if I go to the second person that gets picked and they comment on which prize they want before you, they get that prize. The third, Then the third one, if they comment before the first and second one, they get the first pick. We're going by the comments as they come in. So... If it pays to, to stay to the end watching this because if you weren't, you could have won a forty dollar cookbook and then you don't get it because someone else. All right, so I'm gonna. This is not. This is not gonna be it. All right, this one that I pick next when I press the button is gonna be the one. It's one. No, no, this is not it. When I press the button. Kidding. Number twelve is the first one. He's the luckiest guy on the planet, Ed Collard. Oh my God, he is. So Ed, if you whoever, so go put it, put it on your on the chat right now, Pat. You're not on the chat. Up there. I'm on target, Pat. All right. So that's number one. Okay. So number two. Number one. Number one is Brenda Grimes Davis. Brenda Grimes Davis. All right. So so you have to comment which prize you want first, and 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 uh, whoever. And go here. Twenty three. Twenty three is Lois and Whitmarsh Hamilton. Ed Collard says Ed cookbook. Collard, yep. So that's one of the cookbooks one is off the table. Ed. Who is who, right. who is the law? And Brenda Grimes Davis also says cookbook. cookbook. All right, the cookbooks are gone. We have okay, so we're gonna recap because we have uh, so we still have the the, the dipshit and the the, the um uh, the gator the, with the fisherman statue on it. Yep. Uh, we have this would be mine. No, that's my job. No, not yours. <laughs> He's it's trying to hide. Twin Light Smokehouse Salmon. Right. And then we have <laughs> two. Uh, <laughs> we have two uh, books from uh, from Francis Sullivan. All right. And the uh, and the cookies. And then we get to the oh, cookies. and the cookies. And the cookies. The cookies. The cookies. The cookies. The cookies. Wow. So how many more do we have to pick? Six. All right. Eight. Uh, no. Three, one, four, one, two, eight. Three, number eight. Five, six, yeah. Eight. Number eight is. Michael Berlino. Oh, he finally won. Yeah. Good for him. Uh, so, oh, Ollie Pet, Ollie Pet put down salmon, but he didn't win. But no, case. some people are get, <laughs> trying to get it in. <laughs> so, Lois, let us know what you want. Um, yeah, we have a couple of comments <laughs> trying to jump. So, we, so we just. So, so we, Lois so, would like the gator. All right. So the gators, are, the gate. She gets the gator and the dipshit. <laughs> okay. All right, so next. And you can't win twice. So if your number comes up the second time, you right. can't enter. Random generator doesn't take out. Number five. Number five is Chris Thompson. Oh, uh, Mike Bertolino. Uh, the cookies are off the table. Michael Bertolino. I knew he was going to get those. I think he's always eyes in front of me. Maybe he'll text it. We can eat them. Michael Bertolino won one, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. said Michael Bertolino. You said Michael Bertolino. Yes, I did. Yeah. So he's got the oh, cookies. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, cookies. So not cookies. Huh? Yeah. Well, Michael Berlino is getting the cookies. He wrote it over. Okay, sorry. Taco Mab in the house. Yep. Yeah. All right, ready? So we have the book. Yeah. Number five. Number five is Chris Thompson. Chris Thompson. Yes. Okay. Wow. I can't believe this salmon is still there. Yeah. Number six. Number six is Lois Hamilton. Lois Hamilton. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I can't believe this salmon is still there. Fifteen. Fifteen is Jennifer Dort. Jennifer Dort. All right. And all right, we have that, and we have the, the books. So you need two more. No, just one more. The salmon in the books, right? All right, here we go. Ready? Number one. Did one one already? Number one one already. Okay, so not number one. 
Number 19. Number 19 is Carrie McKenna Logan. Oh, from the chamber. Well, yep. she was from the chamber. Yeah. All right. Those are those, that's it for that. Congratulations, right. Carrie. Congratulations to everyone. Everyone. Um, you have six hours to pick it up. If not, it comes to me. Uh, oh, Jennifer Dodge says the salmon. Salmon. So you have to pick it up down down at the dock. You have two months to pick up the salmon. <laughs> the books is the only thing left. Don't. So we have the books now. Books are left. Oh, Carrie, Carrie, you were late, so you get the books, oh, Carrie. Oh, very close. So that was awesome. Uh, so we have everything. So if you are if you are a winner, you have to pick it up at the dock. So that leaves uh, Thompson um, for the other book. You have it all written down. I'm doing it right now, Chris Thompson. You have to come pick it up at the dock. And um, so, so that's it. Get ready. As you can go to the graphics now. And. That's the out right here. Thanks everybody for joining us. All right, get, Sorry. get in there. Get, Sorry, folks. No, no, we almost we almost lost it. Go ahead, get in there, Jimmy. Okay, can you get come on, Cub, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely no peanut butter, junky peanut butter sandwiches, and piping plovers were harmed in the making of today's podcast. <laughs> Thank you. I love it, I Jimmy. Love Did you hit the finish? I didn't hit. Hit finish up there. It's okay. Right there. Please. So we were.